Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. This is for part 5 of Rosetta. Rosetta has been designed by Tatiana from Lilla Bjorn Crochet and Rosetta is the Scheepjes Crochet Along 2019. In part 5 we'll be making these lovely textured details here. You can see these details, that's what we're going to be making. And we're going to be growing the mandala that we already have. I'm using an Art Tribe kit, so I've got Schepje's Art Tribe yarn. I'm using in this video together with a 3.5mm hook. If you have a Color Crafter kit, you'll be using a 4mm hook. So I'll take you step by step through the rounds that make up this part. We'll be working with different colors and different rounds and doing these increases and all these lovely textures. And I'll show you how to do all of that. Thank you for watching. I hope it's a useful video for you. Round 45, I have color B on my hook, or E if you have color crafter. Chain 1. This is not a stitch. We're going to start with 6 double crochets. Now the first double crochet is going to be in that last stitch from the previous round. Because remember we have turned our work, so you've got the front side, the right side of your work facing. So the first double is going to be in that first, that last stitch from the previous round. The first double, I'm going to remove the marker. That's one, two, three, and here's an increase. That's why I have the marker that you don't miss them. That's three, four, five, six double crochets. Now why six? Because we had that increase, otherwise it will be five. So six double crochets. And now a front post double treble around one on each, these two um, front post stitches from two rows down. So that means a double treble, so that's once over as so a treble and twice over as so a double treble. Then around that post and complete the front post stitch. That's one, and again twice over, around the next one, and complete the front post double treble. You have to skip two stitches to the back. And let me just double check that you've got that right, because you really need to check to see one two stitches to the back and then this is the first double of the next repeat but this time there's no increase here so that's going to be only five doubles so that's one two three four five five doubles and now again a front post double treble around both of these stitches, one on each. So twice over, around that front post stitch, and twice over, and around the next one. And then skipping two stitches to the back. See there, I'm skipping two stitches work a double and that's again the first of five because there's no increase here. And this you're going to repeat all the way around. So you're going to work five doubles and then a two front post double trebles. If you happen to have an increase, you see here's the next one, then there will be six double crochets between the two front post stitches. Just like we had here. There was an increase so there were six stitches. Go all the way around. And when you get here, you're going to work your last two front post double trebles around these two stitches. That's going to be the end of your last repeat. And then you're going to close on your first stitch, that's the, that stitch, with yarn A. So you're going to make the slip stitch with yarn A. So you're going to swap colors at the end of this round. So go all the way around, close the slip stitch with yarn A, and then we're ready for the next round. At the end of round 45, I've just worked those last two double trebles. I'm going to mark this last stitch, so that's when we turn that I know which stitch to work in. 
and then close on the first stitch that's this one here with the slip stitch but change to yarn A change to yarn A for the next round I'm just going to pull that one there we go that's the end of the round if you have color crafter you can cut yarn E um, otherwise leave this attached you have the out tribe you leave this yarn attached and then the next round is in yarn A Round 46, make sure you have the back side of your work facing, so this is the wrong side. Start with the chain 2 on yarn A. If you have yarn B still attached here, just leave that one, you're not going to use it in this round. So chain 2 does not count as a stitch. Then on the next 11 stitches work a treble. And that first one is of course here in the stitch we marked. So that's the first treble, so that's 1. Going to work 11. I can remove the marker. That's one. This is two. And continue until you have 11. That's three. And 11. This is treble number 11. 11 trebles. And then now we're going to start the repeat unit. The repeat unit starts in the next stitch with two trebles. So that's one. And two, two trebles. And what's important here is we're going to mark that second treble. So not the first or the second, but the second treble. So that's the last stitch we just worked. Mark that with a stitch marker. So two trebles in one stitch, marking the second stitch, followed by 28 trebles. So that's quite a stretch. So just one treble on every stitch for. 28 stitches and that's your repeat you're going to do almost all the way around so two trebles in one stitch mark the second and then 28 trebles and then do that again until you're almost all the way around I'll just see you for the last bit of this edge and again for the changing colors and everything so but repeat this two trebles mark the second and then 28 trebles I'm at the end of round 46. I've just done the last full repeat. You can see there are just a number of stitches left. On these last stitches, those are 18 stitches. I'm going to work in the first stitch two trebles. That's one and two. And again here, marked, mark that second treble. And then in the following 17 stitches, going to work a treble on each. 17 stitches. 16. And 17. 17 is here in the same position as we already have the chain 2. That's number 17. 17 trebles. Now we're going to close on the first stitch, that's this stitch here, with a slip stitch. And while we do so, we're going to change colors. If you have the Out Tribe, it's color B. If you have a color crafter, it's color uh, C. C for the color crafter and B for the Out Tribe. And then we're ready. I'm just going to pull yarn A a bit tight. There we go, so that really closes up that stitch. We're going to rotate our work and continue in color B or C. If you want to, you can again still mark that last stitch we worked. It's going to be this one. You can just mark that stitch so that you know where to start in the next round. Round 47. This round you have the right side of your work facing and you're going to leave yarn A to the back so ignore yarn A for this round. So Just double check with the pattern exactly which color yarn you're using if you have the color crafter. If you have the art tribe we just continue with the yarn we already have. I'm going to start by working a slip stitch in the next two stitches. So this is the last stitch we worked in the previous round that I've marked. Do a slip stitch in there, 
and then I'm going to remove the marker because that's just easier and then also in the next stitch a slip stitch now we're ready to start the repeat, not almost, chain one now we're ready to start the repeat unit we're going to work a front post double treble two together around this this last front post treble there so we're going to come back to that stitch so that's twice over then around this post it's going to be the first leg of the treble two together or the double treble two together front post take off two loops and take off two loops now comes the second leg so it's twice over and you could now work this in two ways you could come around this post again and then take off two loops take off two loops and now you're going to take off take them all off in one go you could work it in this way or if I just take it back it's going to undo that last leg you could work that second leg here in the base of the first leg so there in those two loops there I'll show you twice over so come around to the back and then in those loops there in the base of the first leg take off two take off two and then take them all off and this just gives you a slightly neater result than if you have them both below but that's up to you so you've got a double treble two together front post I'll show you this a few more times I'm going to skip a stitch to the back so I'm skipping one stitch and in the next stitch work a double crochet now we're again going to work a front post double treble two together around the next um, treble stitch we have here, that stitch there twice over, then around this front post grab the, the loops take off two, take off two now again twice over and I'm going to take it in the base of the stitch that I just made so that would be those two loops there take off two take off two three loops on your hook take them all off you just skip a stitch to the back just be careful that you skip the right stitch so skip one stitch and then come to the next and I'm going to work four double crochets two three and four that's four double crochets now we're going to come back and do exactly the same so again going to work a front post double treble around this back stitch here double treble two together I should say it's twice over and this again means just folding your work a bit to really get behind that stitch take off two loops take off two two loops on your hook again twice over now again going to go into the base of the leg that I just made again you're going to have to just fold your work to really get into that loop take off two three loops on your hook take them all off in one go again skip a stitch to the back it's one stitch then I'm skipping one stitch and come to the next and work one double crochet now again I'm going to come forward and work the front post double treble two together around this post here twice over around that post you have 
the first leg stop twice over. I'm going to come into the base of the loop that, of the post that I just made, of the leg of that post, I should say. And then take off two loops. Take off two and take them all off. Skipping one stitch to the back again, so you always skip a stitch to the back. See them there, and then this is the first of five doubles. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And now you're at the end of the repeat unit. Starting at this front post double treble two together up until this this last of the five double crochets. This is your repeat unit. I'm going to do this all the way around. The stitches that we've marked, every time you're going to get you get to one of these, this is going to be a stitch that you skip. So that's going to be a good um, just a, a, a checkpoint for you to see that you um, if, if you're still on track. So I'm just going to start the next repeat unit with you. So twice over, coming back around that front post stitch, and again twice over, and then I'm going to come into the base of the last leg. Removing two loops at a time. You have three loops on your hook. Take them all off. I'm going to skip a stitch to the back, and that should then be the marked stitch. And in the next stitch, I work a double. Now I've started the second repeat with you. And you can now remove this stitch mark, you don't need it anymore. So this is the same stitch as that one there. So this be piece, re repeat this all the way around, and this is a, a very detailed round, so take your time on this round. You want these stitches to be nice and neat. And then I'll just show you at the end just the last repeat, and then how to change colors again. Almost to the end of round 47, see this is that last double treble two together. So just the last few stitches, I'm going to skip a stitch to the back. See how I'm skipping the stitch? then come to the next and now we're going to work five doubles. So that's one, two, three. These are still in what I call empty stitches and then four and five are in the stitches that contains those slip stitches. So just kind of cover those slip stitches. That's four and that is five. So those last five stitches of the repeat. And now we're going to close on the double treble two together with the slip stitch. And change to yarn A in the process. And you're going to have to just pull yarn A a bit backwards because it's a few stitches back, but uh, that's okay. Just pull, just pull the yarn to you. So it'll be a bit here to the back, but that doesn't matter. That's okay. And if you want to, you can mark the last stitch we worked. That's that stitch, that last double crochet, because we're going to be turning our work again. And in the next round, we will work with yarn A. Round 48, you have the wrong side, the back side of your work facing. And we're going to continue in yarn A. Start with a chain two. This is again not a stitch, and here's that other thread, so just ignore your other thread. And in the last stitch worked of the previous round, that's where we're going to start. And you're going to start with 25 trebles. So the first one here is in the marked stitch, and then you can remove that stitch marker. That's one, I'm just going to leave it for the moment, that's just as easy. It's just two, three, and continue until you have 25 of these trebles. So it's going to be quite a stretch. 25. 
25 trebles. Now we're going to start the repeat unit. And the repeat unit is two trebles in the next stitch. It's one, two, it's two trebles, and then 29 trebles. So one in every stitch, 29 stitches. So that's quite a bit of a long bit. And keep keep counting that you have 29 trebles between all your increases and then you should be fine. So you're going to re repeat two trebles in the next stitch and then 29 trebles. So now you've already done four. So I'm going to repeat this till I'm almost all the way around. Then I'll see you here back at the beginning. Just after you've worked your last 29 stitches, you'll be about here somewhere. And I'll see you at that point. I'm almost to the back of the round. Here's, here's the first stitch. I've just finished that last repeat of long stitches and at this point you should have five stitches left. In the first stitch you're going to work two trebles. So one and two. And then on the next four stitches work a treble on each. It's so one and two three and number four here is in the stitch that already contains the slip stitch join. That's then the fourth treble. If you want to you can mark this stitch so that when you turn you can see exactly where your first stitch is. Go to close on the first stitch. That's the treble there. Going to close on that stitch with a slip stitch. And now you can turn your work for the next round. Round 49. This round again going to be working details around the front post stitches from two rows down. I'm going to start with the slip stitch into the next stitch. So that's the stitch that's marked here from the previous round. Make a slip stitch in there and then chain one. Now we're ready to start the repeat unit. I'm going to do a front post double treble four together around the two posts from this front post stitch and the two posts from this front post stitch. So around the first leg I'm going to work the first leg of the front post double treble four together. So I'm going to yarn over twice for the double treble because this, this little double treble here has two posts, so take the first one, pick up your yarn, take off two loops, take off two loops. Again, yarn over twice, and come to the next leg, take off two loops, and take off two. Now we're going to come to the next front post stitch here and do the same on these two legs. So again, twice over. Come to the first leg. Twice over. And come to the second leg. One. One. That means you now have four legs. You have five loops on your hook. I'm going to take them all off in one go. And that's a front post double treble four together and you've worked it over the four posts from your front post stitches two rows down. I'm going to skip a stitch to the back, so skip one stitch, then I'm skipping a stitch and then work seven doubles. It's so one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, seven doubles. Now we're going to do the, exactly the same. So we're going to repeat this again. So yarn over twice around that first leg, taking off two loops at a time. Yarn over twice. Go to the second leg. 
turn over twice. Oh dear, there I've lost it, so do that again. Yarn over to and yarn over. Now come to the next front post stitch and do the same on those two. And here again. Four legs, five loops on your hook. Take them off. Skip a stitch to the back. I'm skipping one stitch, and then the stitch after is the first of seven double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this little unit you've now worked twice. I'm going to do it again, but this time not with seven doubles but with six. But on these front post stitches it's exactly the same idea as there. So here again, yarn over twice, first leg, and this is a lovely round in which you'll be working a lot of details, really starting to see your pattern coming together. And the next two, and the next two. Four legs, five loops on your hook, Take them off. Skip one stitch to the back. See, I'm skipping a stitch there. Come to the next, and now you work six doubles. That's important. Here it's only six. Two, three, four, five, and six. Only six doubles. And now we're going to repeat again with front post stitches and then seven doubles. And then you'll be at the end of the repeat unit. So around the first leg, yarn over twice, come to the second leg. Yarn over twice, and then it's position number three. And four. Take them all off. Skip a stitch to the back. And work the first of seven. So one, two, three. Seven doubles. And now you're all the way around. Well, actually, now you're at the end of the repeat unit. Now you're ready to start everything we've just done all the way around. And it's always the same here with the front post double treble four together, but the number of double crochets in between differs. So it's seven, seven, six, seven. And then you start again. Seven, seven, six, seven. So go all the way around. And here, after your last um, front post double four together, you're going to work seven double crochets where the last one will be here in the slip stitch, so you're going to be covering that slip stitch and then join on this front post double treble four together, that stitch there join in there with a slip stitch and change to yarn A Round 50, this is again a like a base round, so in yarn A we're going to work a round of trebles Chain two, which is not a stitch, and then in the first stitch, because you have the back side facing again, so that's the st last stitch of the previous round, it's going to work a treble in there. You can just leave that stitch marker. And I've got yarn A actually on the wrong side here, because it's just going to be easier for me if it's to the other side. There we go. Oh, sorry, that's yarn, uh, yarn B. Yarn A is, of course, the green one. 
So as a first tray we're going to work 10, so that's 1, this is 2, 3, and 10. 10 travels. Going to start the repeat unit. In the next stitch, the first one here, going to work 2 travels. There's 2 travels in one stitch. One, two travels, and then in the next thirty stitches, work a travel on each. There's thirty stitches, and that's going to be your repeat. So you work an increase, two travels in one stitch, and then you work thirty travels. So just keep counting. Make sure that you have thirty stitches between your increases, and then you're going to go all the way around. And at the end, you're going to finish by just working 20 um, trebles because you've already worked the first 10 here. So you're going to finish with working 20 trebles and then close on your first stitch and then you're going to swap to yarn B or C again. So go all the way around working 2 trebles in one stitch and then 30 trebles finishing your last repeat on 20 trebles and then close on that first stitch. Round 51, this round we're going to work with yarn B or C if you have Color Crafter. Chain 1, this does not count as a stitch. You have the right side of your work facing. You're going to start by working a front post double treble around the two legs here of the four together stitch. I'm going to go twice over for the double treble and then come below both of those legs, first two, we're going to work a front post stitch. So a front post double treble. Then again, twice over, and do the same thing around the next two legs here. So around these two. Take two off, take two off, take Two off. I'm going to skip two stitches to the back. Now I've marked the last stitch from the previous round again, so that's the first one you're going to skip, and then skip the next stitch, and the stitch after. So you're going to skip two stitches, work one double crochet. In the next stitch, also work a double crochet. We're now going to work a double treble four together. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. We're going to work a double treble four together in the stitch two rows down. So we're going to come to the next stitch two rows down and work a double treble four together. And we're going to do that in a slightly different way maybe than you're used to. So yarn over twice for the double treble. And then come to the next stitch, that's that stitch, and then come down to where it's at in the previous round. So around that double crochet, work the first leg of the four together. So one, two. Then again for the second leg, to yarn over twice. And now we're not going to make it around the double crochet here, but we're going to come to the base of the leg we just made and through those two little loops there we're going to insert the next leg. So through the base of the stitch. Take off two loops, take off two loops. So now you have two legs. So again, twice over, then come to the same base position. Take off two, take off two, and again twice over, come to the, la the same position and do the last leg. Two, two. At this point you'll have five loops on your hook them all off in one go. Skip a stitch to the back. 
gonna skip one stitch and skip that stitch. And the next stitch work a double and that's the first of three. So that's one, two, and three. And this little unit here, this is your repeat unit. So starting at this front post double treble up until that double crochet. This entire thing here is very short. This is your repeat unit. It's going to do that all the way around. So you're going to do quite a few of them. Just show you the repeat again. And then you can go all the way around. I'm going to start with a front post double treble around those first two legs. Take off two, two, two. Again twice over. Come to the next position. Again take off two, two, two. Skipping two stitches to the back. Skip two stitches. And then work one, two doubles. Now comes that um, double treble four together. So again working it in this way here. It's twice over. <coughs> Come to the next stitch and then two rows down. Two, two, twice over and then come to the base of that leg. Just pick up those two loops. Two. So you've got two legs and do the same with leg number three in the base of the stitch and number four also. And you can take it off. Skipping one stitch to the back. I'm skipping a stitch. Work the first of three. Two. Three. And I've done the repeat unit a second time with you. Repeat this all the way around. I believe it's, it's more than 70 times. And when you come back here to the um, to the beginning, change to yarn A. If you have color crafter, let's, if you have color C here, you can also cut your yarn. But change to yarn A. If you have the Art Tribe, like I have, leave your yarn attached. The Color Crafter you can cut. Round 52, and the last round of this part. You have the back side of your work facing and yarn A on your hook at the moment. Just going to move this thread a bit out of the way. Start with the chain 2. This is not a stitch. Then in the first, I've, still, I've marked that last stitch on the previous round, in the first 19 stitches work a treble. And then we can start the repeat unit. So you're going to work 19 trebles. 19. 19 trebles to start with. Now we're going to do the repeat unit. So now we start the repeat unit. The next stitch we do an increase. So two trebles in the next stitch. And this increase will always be in a double treble four together. So you see here if you look forward, you see it's made in this in this nice bobble here. So if you work an increase, it will be in a bobble stitch. Just work that increase in the second treble mark that treble with a stitch marker. So that's a marker for you for the next round. So just mark the second of the two trebles. And then comes a stretch of 31 trebles. And then you're going to repeat that all the way around. Your last part of the, your last repeat will not be 31 trebles but only 12 because you've already started with the first 19. 
So continue until you have 31 and then you start an increase again. So then that's an increase in a bobble stitch. Mark the second treble, go all the way around. And here after you've done your last increase you'll work 12 trebles and then close on the first stitch. That'll be that stitch with a slip stitch and then change to yarn B. So also if you have a color crafter you'll change to yarn B. If you have the um, Our Tribe, you can just continue. The color craft, you'll have to attach yarn B. So go all the way around, and then you're finished with part five, and we'll just look at size. We're just to the end of part five of Rosetta. Size-wise, your diameter for the Our Tribe is now about 92 centimeters, for the color crafter 104. So just measure your diameter to give you an idea if you're still on track with gauge. You see this lovely details we've made in part 5 and it's really turning into a beautiful blanket at this point. But it brings us to the end of part 5. I do hope to see you next week for part 6.